down into their molecular simpleness. Teaching high school students. And that way I can bring it even to adults in a simple way so I don't stand before you and sound like some Harvard law professor trying to make proof to you how smart I am and how dumb you are and how you should all go home and leave all the thinking to me. Because that's another lie that's been perpetrated on the people. Oh, the Constitution's too complicated. You can't possibly understand that. You don't need to know what that says. Just leave it to us. And that's why we are where we are. But when I teach these middle school students and these high school students about liberty, I break it down in a little mathematical formula for them. Liberty equals freedom plus morality you see we are created free by the nature of our creation being created in the image of God we are created free which means we are free to choose to do whatever we want but we don't want to build our societies on freedom alone because a society built on freedom alone means I'm free to lie, I'm free to steal, and I'm free to murder without consequence. I'm free to do whatever I want, regardless of how that hurts you. And that's not a place I want to live in. Anybody here? But Liberty says, yes! I recognize you are created free, but you are to use that freedom for good. Not to the point of licentiousness. You must have a self-governing morality that says, yes, I am free to do whatever I want, but there are some things that I will not do because they're wrong. Built on the golden rule, if you like. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Built on the biblical principle of love your neighbor as yourself. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is liberty requires self-governance and the existence of self-governance means you don't need government. Amen. You see, we got to get back in touch with the proper flow of authority so that we can actually secure and prosper liberty for our future. There is a proper flow of authority, but we have to recognize the principles of creation. It's a basic principle of creation. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created man. And then God gave man dominion over the earth. God created man and gave man charge over the earth with the obligation to be good stewards, which is liberty. You are to guard and prosper the earth as it's given to you as a good steward, self-governing, so that you do not harm your neighbor while you're taking care of yourself. And that's how we're created. Funny thing is, God created us to be social creatures too. Right? Forsake not the assembling of each other, even more so as the day approaches. All throughout the Bible, we are told a threefold cord is more powerful than one. And if you just think about it logically, the life expectancy of a hermit is not very long. I mean, it, it, it might be more pleasant at times. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> but if you're living on your own in the woods and maybe you're building your house and you're chopping down a tree and then all of a sudden you trip and break your leg in the middle of the woods and you're by yourself, what happens? That's it. That's the end of your story. So we're created to be social creatures, but now we are fallen in the same time. And we got to understand something. James Madison said it this way, if men were angels, we wouldn't need government. But we're not. 
So we have to live in communities by the nature of our creation. It's just our nature to live together and to be together in a community kind of society. But the bigger our communities come, the less accountability we have to each other. And when we don't have a direct accountability with each other, then we have to trust the self-governance of someone else. And how many of you know people that just don't self-govern so well? <laughs> so God created man, man created society, and in order to live in liberty in society, society of man came together and created government. Now watch this. God, we're talking about the proper flow of power here. God created man. Man created society. Society created government. Each, with each creation, the delegation of power diminishes. Amen. Because I can't delegate more than I possess. And if I delegate everything I possess, then I am now a slave. That means God is the ultimate, as our, as our Declaration of Independence says, the supreme judge of the universe. Created us with less power. In society, we came together as a people, as a group, with less power than an individual. And then the society creating elective government, our constitutional republic, created even less power. But what's amazing is, in our constitutional republic, we actually specifically enumerated the power government was allowed to operate under. See, I'm going to give you an example. As an individual, do I possess the authority to take from pastor his cell phone because I need it? What if I really, really need it? Do I possess the authority to take that? Nope. Okay, what if I really, 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 really need it? Nope. No? Nope. Well, if I don't possess the authority, then nobody else does. Right. What if his lovely wife knows that I need it really badly, she takes it from him against his will and gives it to me? Is it okay because she's taking it from him to give it to me to fulfill this really, 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 really big need? No. No. If I take this phone from him, what am I doing? Stealing. I'm stealing it. Well, government has less authority than I have because I created government. I delegated to government as a member of society a certain portion of my authority. I never possessed the authority to take from him. She never possessed the authority to take from him to give to me. How can government possess the authority to take from one to give to the other when its creator never possessed it in the first place? Right. See, that's why you've got to understand the flow is hinging upon the proper understanding and of creation. We created government. Government is a lesser power than us. They are our creation. But what happens is over decades and decades and decades of errant teaching, where we put government in charge of education, all of a sudden, the whole paradigm is now flipped, where government holds all the power and is over man, and God is on the bottom. Yeah. Wow. We have flipped the proper flow of authority upside down. Yeah. By the way, for any of my Christian brothers and sisters, that's actually what we call the antichrist system. Because the Christ system is God, man, society, government. When you make it government, society, man, God, that's antichrist.